So, just arrived to uh, Cancun. As you can see, it's a pretty small airport. Looking forward to a good time. Inside a little Mexican grocery store. So right now we're right out front of the hotel in Cancun. So we're here in Cancun. Uh, car rental. I highly recommend getting it. Um, it's a total pain in the ass to get anywhere without it. Uh, if you are going to do that, the roads here are very sketchy and the drivers are very sketchy. So be very careful. Guys practicing jujitsu in the park. He said tomorrow. Jetta, and uh, it's like the basic, the most basic Jetta you can get, so it's pretty light. And we didn't realize it, but it's 80 to 100 dollars to fill this kind of tank. In the U.S., it would be like 40, and definitely we're not ready for that. So do not get mad at the, the people pumping your gas. I kind of almost did, but uh, I apologized and kept it on going. And it is raining like like no other. It's been raining the whole time we're here. This is the road we're gonna take for about a hundred miles.
the dogs right here. All right, so here at Chichen Itza, um, as you can see, pretty amazing. And if you clap, it echoes right back at you. It's pretty cool. So as you can see right here, this side of the uh, temple is definitely pretty damaged. They seem to have kept a pretty good maintenance on the other couple sides, but obviously there's only so much you can do. All right, so just got through uh, going to Chichen Itza. As you can see, it is pouring rain. I am soaked. Uh, as far as I would say it goes, it was about a three hour drive from Cancun to here. Not so bad, it was actually really nice to see everything. Uh, they charge you pretty much for absolutely everything once you get here though. You, get, you have to pay tolls on the way. When you get here, you gotta pay for parking. Then you gotta buy a ticket that's for the, the state. And then you also gotta buy a ticket for federal. And then on top of that, you gotta pay to bring your, your GoPro or anything, any sort of camera into the into the, the grounds. And it was really cool, the actual temple, but if you're gonna do it, I highly recommend ignoring all the vendors around you. They have way too many vendors here. From what I understand, they let the, the native Mayan people sell their stuff here tax-free. I do not like all the, the, the vendors that was really annoying but the people are nice and uh, you'll be safe and I highly recommend doing it it's one of the seven wonders of the world um, it does feel a little bit like not as like genuine as like you know just going to somewhere it, it's like almost like a Disneyland version of it like there's you know vendors there's food places there's people selling you things everywhere and uh, the grounds are all like enclosed by like gates or like fences so yeah, I highly recommend going, but uh, do consider all the vendors and all the prices you're gonna have to pay. I think it was way better than doing the tour to just come on your own. Definitely the most intense rain I've ever driven in.